In the waning days of World War II, a new chapter in military history was written, one that would change the world forever. On August 6, 1945, an American B-29 bomber, the Enola Gay, soared over the Japanese city of Hiroshima. What followed marked the first ever use of an atomic weapon in warfare. At approximately 8.15 a.m., the bomb known as Little Boy was released. It detonated above Hiroshima, unleashing a blast equivalent to about 15 kilotons of TNT. The city below was obliterated, and approximately 140,000 lives were lost either instantly or over the following months due to injuries and radiation. Just three days later, history repeated itself in Nagasaki. Another bomb, this one called Fat Man, rained down, killing about 70,000 people and devastating the cityscape. Like Hiroshima, Nagasaki too was transformed into a landscape of ruin and human suffering. These bombings were pivotal. They not only heralded the advent of nuclear warfare but also played a crucial role in Japan's decision to surrender, which was formally announced by Emperor Hirohito on August 15, 1945. This effectively brought an end to World War II. But the legacy of Hiroshima and Nagasaki extends beyond their immediate devastation. These cities now stand as poignant reminders of the destructive power of nuclear weapons, embodying the urgent need for peace and nuclear disarmament. They symbolize the profound human cost of war, and they compel us to reflect on the ethical implications of nuclear weapons. Today, as we remember those dark days, let us not forget the lessons they teach us about war, peace, and humanity's capacity for both destruction and compassion.